Well, first off, congrats to the Dodgers. You know what a what a heck of the year they had, um, just all around. And um, yeah, we just didn't get the job done. You know, just a couple mistakes along the way it, that hurt us. But um, like I said, we just we didn't finish it. You know, guys had some great years this year. You know, it was fun playing with this group of guys. You know, they really came together. You know, the guys that we either signed to come here, guys that we traded for. You know, they all fit this club perfectly and, you know, really, you know, bought into what we're doing here. How do you process that fifth in, in particular? You guys are up 5 nothing. It looks like you're, you're on your way back out to L.A. And then obviously on the Like I said, just a couple mistakes that, you know, you can't, you can't give a good team like that extra out. So, you know, it starts with me there in the, you know, line drive coming in. Let's play that. So, you know, that doesn't happen. I'm going to get a different story tonight. I just didn't make the play. Yeah. Does it feel like you guys kind of gave it away? <coughs> I wouldn't say that because we battled back. We took the lead, so I wouldn't say we gave it away. Aaron, do you think stuff like this was problematic all year right to the end, like some fundamental stuff that worked over the team all year, like things like execution, technique, etc.? It's tough to say because I haven't really sat back and looked on the whole year, um, but I could I can go back. There's a couple of games in the postseason where it was a base running mistake, or you know, like I said, you give a team like the Dodgers three extra outs, they're they're going to capitalize on it. So, you know, but it comes back to me. You know, I got to, you know, I'm getting that first play. I got to make the play, and you know, probably the other two don't have it. Are you worried that this is could be Soto's last game? You know, I haven't really thought about it. You know, I'm proud of the year that Juan he had. You know, it was fun to come to work with him every single day. You know, just the work he puts in behind the scenes. You know, even when the guy was hitting 320, I'd see him hitting late after the games. If he had an offer, you know, he was showing up early doing work. You know, whatever his he decides, whatever him and his family decide, he prays on it. You know, he's going to make the right decision for him and his family. And you know, we were definitely lucky to have him here. And. You know, it would be great to keep playing with him because he's, he's definitely a special player. What would be your message? I know it's not your, your decision, but knowing what you two accomplished this year and the way that you guys fit in a lineup together, how much do you want him back and how much do you think this team needs him back? I think everybody in this room wants him back. Just like I said, just besides you can look at the stats and what he did on, on the field, I think it was the type of leader he is in this clubhouse. Um, he just does a lot of the little things that people don't notice that truly make him one of the best players, if not the best best player in the game. So you know, I definitely enjoyed getting a chance to have a front row seat all season long, watching his at-bats, watching his approach, the way he would talk about certain pitchers and how they would attack him and what he's looking for. Man, he's he's a scientist up there, so it's uh, definitely would love to see him in pinstripes for quite a long time. Yeah, Warren said, said that. Of feeling, uh, hitting a home run in the World Series, not the result you wanted, but hitting the home run. Yeah, just trying to give us give us an early lead there, you know, especially when you got Garrett Cole on the mound and you give that guy a couple runs, you know, good things are going to happen. So just trying to stay aggressive in my zone and, um, you know, happy to get the, those two runs, but we'll should have added a couple more. Aaron, you've been through the free agency process before. Just what's your advice to Juan as he goes through it? Just enjoy the process. You know, very few times in your career do you get to pick you have a chance to pick where you want to go, and a guy like that, he's going to have every single team that you know that can afford him. He's going to be, you know, calling his phone. So just enjoy the process. You know, talk it over with your family and friends. Pray about it. Um, but just most importantly, enjoy it. You know, it's, it doesn't happen too many times in your career. So just enjoy it. He talked about how he made. He talked about how he made. You made him a better player. Did he make you a better player this season? And if so, how? Of course, like, I, like I've been saying, it's just watching his approach on a daily basis, how he would talk about how he would attack a, a pitching staff, how he would attack a certain pitcher, what he's looking for in certain situations, you know, and then coming up to the plate with him in scoring position every single day was was also a nice little added bonus. But uh, like I said, he's going to 
incredible athlete, incredible player, you know, even a better person, you know, what he brought, you know, inside this clubhouse that a lot of people didn't get a chance to see. It's, uh, you know, wherever he lands, wherever he ends up, that team's going to be very lucky, that's for sure. Aaron, what do you take away from the first World Series? A lot of different things, to be honest. Um, you know, getting a chance to see Yankee Stadium rocking and rolling like that the past couple of nights was pretty special. Um, you know, just seeing the city come alive, you know, getting a chance to compete with these guys that you battle through so much BS throughout the season, the ups and downs, the uh, losing streaks, winning streaks, tough calls that don't go your way. You know, all for it to you know come to these you know final games like this. Um, it was you know, definitely a treat to get out there and compete with this group, but you know we got a, we got a special group in here. You know, a lot of these young guys that you know getting their taste of postseason baseball for the first time and the success they had. You know, you know some big homers from Wellesley and good at bats. You know what Volpe did. You know all postseason long. You know Clark Schmidt coming up and have some great pitching performances for us. You know we got something special here, and I know this this is only going to fuel a lot of guys, fuel me especially. So. Um, yeah, I want to be on the other side of it, that's for sure. Aaron, what message can you give to the fans who were there? Your misses in the World Series came really close a lot of times. Finally got over the hump. What do you feel like you guys need to do like that last step? Like I said, even you just go to this game and some mistakes. You know, some of the mistakes where you you can't give can't give teams like that extra outs. You know, they're going to capitalize, and especially with their their. You know, one, two, three, top of their order. You know, those guys, you know, they don't miss. You know, you give them a chance with guys on base. You give them a chance to have a little bit of rally. Or, you know, they're not going to, they're going to capitalize on this for sure. So, like I said, just, you got to limit the mistakes. Um, that's about it right now. How do you do that? How do you eliminate mistakes? It seems like a thing that everyone wants to do, but it seems probably pretty hard to do. You just don't let it happen. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I, I don't have a good answer for you right now, but um, yeah, I got nothing for you right you, now. You, you Aaron, to the mistakes. who were there, spring training, opening day, all the way till the end. What can you tell them? To the fans, like like I said, you know, seeing Yankee Stadium the way it was rocking the past couple of days, seeing it on the road, you know, it didn't matter if it was a Tuesday game, wherever. You know, Yankee fans showed up every single day. They showed up for us big time in the postseason. You know, all the way from March 28th, whenever, till now, you know, these, these fans showed up in number, always supported us, always had our back. Even when we weren't playing our best baseball, they were always there for us. So that's that's why they're the best fans in the world, and, you know, they definitely deserve a, a World Series championship, and we're going to bring that to them at some point. Aaron, you mentioned the mistakes. There's no good way to not win the World Series, but I wonder is there a level of frustration because game one, this game, without the mistakes, you probably could have won. Yeah, like that's what it comes down to. You know, I think that's what it always comes down to is you limit those mistakes. You don't give your opponent a chance to breathe and, you know, kind of have a sense of momentum. You know, things are going to go your way. But like I said, you go back to game one, a couple mistakes there, you know, that, that kind of flips it for us. And then even tonight, you know, having that, that fifth inning, uh, that, that hurt us there. Even though we were able to battle back, it really didn't phase a lot of guys. I mean, we stayed locked in on what we needed to do. We just, you, know, you can't give a team like that you know, extra outs like that. Was that an emotional game for yourself because of everything? You, you know, diving catch, fifth inning, home run, there's just a lot that you're involved in. It's just another game, you know. Yeah. It's, it's uh, you know, win or go home. So I'm trying to, you got to lay it all on the line. You know, I try to do that every single day, and, you know, especially a game like this, you know, we're trying to make it to LA. So, um, Every game is emotional. Aaron, when you hit free agency, there was a draw to remain here, right? Um, do you think Juan has the same draw of the history of the Yankees and to be a Yankee? I think he got a little taste of the the excitement here, the history here. Um, you know what it truly means to be a Yankee. You know he fit every single category. Like I said, just on the field stuff, how he competes. You know, no, nobody better. But then also. The intangibles off the field in this clubhouse, the type of leader he is. You know, it's it's difficult coming to a new team. You know, he, he spoke up many times in this clubhouse in meetings. He spoke up in our hitters meetings. 
you know, it's little things like that that people don't see. But, you know, he, this guy has no fear. You know, he wants to be a leader. He wants to be in the spotlight. He wants to have those big moments. So um, and when you're a Yankee, you're going to be put in those situations. So, you know, I'd love to have him back. But, you know, I'm going to give him some time to think about it, you know, do what he needs to do with his family, and we'll see what happens. Do you get the sense he really enjoyed playing here? You know, you hope so. You know, you hope so. You know, he brought us a lot of joy. I think we brought him a lot of joy as well. Um, but yeah, like I said, we were lucky to have him for this year. How long will this stay with you? You know, the, the play, the fifth inning, and obviously the falling uh, short of the World I think falling short in the World Series will stick with me until I die, probably. I think just like every other loss, um, you know, those things don't go away. You know, they're just their battle scars along the way and you know hopefully when my career is over we got a lot of battle scars but also a lot of victories along the way too. Aaron, Aaron, you're Aaron Boone in the press conference where he's described playing Harper is pretty emotional. So what does he bring and maybe we don't see from the outside of this team? He's a guy like I've said from day one he's always had our back. He's always been there for us. He tries to put us in the best situations day in and day out. Um, He's a guy that every, every single person in this room will run through a wall for. You know, he's, you know, the culture we have here, um, there's something special that we have going on here. It starts with him at the top. You know, we wouldn't be in this position. We wouldn't have, you know, the guys that we brought in fit in so well if it wasn't for a manager like him to, you know, really just bring all of us together. So, you know, we wouldn't be in. I think he's so emotional because he just, he loves every single guy in this room. Didn't matter if they pitched one inning for us or if they were an everyday guy. He loved them all the same, and um, you know, can't ask for anything more from a manager.